Welcome to our apartment in Bosnia, or Mostar in Bosnia to be precise. And getting here was quite quite the uh, journey. Uh, full of ups and downs, I guess you could oh, say. Yeah. So um, we're going to use this video as an opportunity to show you through just what happened. So uh, we um, started off in Dubrovnik, where they filmed Game of Thrones in Croatia. Um, and we jumped on a flex bus and we made our way over to Bosnia, where we are currently. And getting there was quite an interesting little journey. Yeah. So uh, have a little look at this video now, see what happened, follow through with the, uh, the journey that we've been on. And uh, yeah, learn all about how we got to Mostar. Enjoy. So as you can see, we've made it to Mostar and now we are heading towards our apartment. And what a day it's been already. We've literally done three hour coach ride, which was delayed by an hour. Um, and then I got stopped at border, uh, border, con border control, border control. And that's the third time that's happened to me. Three different countries. Obviously one is uh, my homeland, England, happened to be in London, and uh, then it happened, where was it, Greece, yeah. happened to be in Greece, that was my fault though, that was your fault, yeah, <laughs> and then uh, obviously third time now, Bosnia and Herzegovina, so yeah, I've got a bit of a knack about getting uh, pulled aside for random checks and searches, well the first time actually, was because Tammy decided to clean the house of bleach. Oh no, that was one of the trees. It was, yeah. So I got detained in both, well not detained, I got searched at customs. Oh, the, I got the set, searched by security the there and back because uh, Tammy cleaned the house of bleach and got it on my bag. This bag actually. <laughs> so uh, yeah, we, don't, we haven't done that again. And then this time I think it was just a random search. So literally right, they took me into this small room and they were like, Oh, 
Well, actually, there's a bit more context, right? So we were sitting there and we came to the border crossing yeah, border. Right. and this uh, policeman got on, right? And he started looking around the coach. He looked, me at, he looked right at me. He was like, you, come with me. <laughs> I was like, oh my God, what is going on right now? And uh, he was like, uh, do you have bags with you? I was like, yeah, we've got two. And we've got this like shopping bag full of food. Uh, we don't care about food. Is the uh, food and drink, you know, the two bags bring with, with you, not the woman, you, you bring. Okay, so we got up. I don't think Tammy heard what he was saying. And uh, wow. <laughs> yeah. That's amazing. The haunted house vibe. Maybe you can make that out. I put cobwebs on a abandoned house. What well, looks like cobwebs, I don't know what they are. And uh, Tony didn't hear him, so she went to get up with her bag. He's like, no, 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 not you, just him. <laughs> so take me to this small room, right? And they're like, right, empty your bags. Uh, before you do that, is there anything you want to declare? You want to say, um, you've got anything you shouldn't have? I was like, nah, mate, nothing, nothing. No drugs, no alcohol, no tobacco, like nothing. I don't want to do the accent. Just want to really paint the picture for you. And uh, <coughs> he was, uh, I was like, no, no, nothing like that, mate. Um, and he was like, well, okay, well, open your bag then, let's have a look. So, uh, oh, doggy. So I was like, okay, sure, open the bag. And he saw my vitamins. And he was like, what are these, what are these? I was like, oh, they're just vitamins, mate. Have a look, look, vitamins, vitamins. He was like, okay, okay, no problem. And he was like, electronics, electronics. I was like, yeah, I've got a laptop. I was like, am I allowed to bring laptop through? He was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, okay, cool. I was like, okay, now open the woman's bag. I was like, okay, <laughs> good luck. You know, I've reached into her bag a few times and come out of a cut hand, razors and stuff in there, but be my guest. Open it up, show me, show me what's in. So I showed him, I was like, okay, good. You can go now. <laughs> Sweating bullets, I was like, why me? So I got on the bus and they took off a handful of more people. So I weren't the only one. Yeah, he took so off all the English people off the bus, basically. No, I think they, I think he did take, um, Put him out a bit of Dutch guy as well. Yeah. They took off. And uh, yeah, it was, uh, it was, it was quite, yeah. quite scary. <laughs> yeah. It was a bit, a bit of a scary experience. So, uh, but it's all an experience, isn't it? Now I know how my dad felt when yeah. he was going from country to country. Oh yeah, your dad used to be a lorry driver, didn't he? Well, he still is, but he used to do international hauls and he'd have to go across the border. So he probably had to go through the same thing, but. Uh, yeah, obviously with his lorry being jacked over and everything. Yeah. So we're now on the way to our Airbnb and we've just gone and had some food. And one thing we've already realized about Mostar is that nowhere except card, nowhere. I went to five different restaurants. Mogali Platiti Katitsum. Ne, ne, every time. Got to another place, Mogali Platiti Katitsum. Ne, oh, you speak English. <laughs> You're English, right? <laughs> yes, I am. How did you know? My pronunciation's that bad. And she was like, there's an ATM over there. You can get money out from there if you want. So we did that and we don't know Bosnian currency. Nope. And we can't get the internet in Bosnia because because it's because of the internet plan we use for our phone provider, we'd have to buy a bolt on. And that'd be 26, 26 quid, 26 pounds for 100 gigs of data. I could run for 100 gigs of data in like five minutes, easily. So I was like, right, okay. No internet, no way of knowing. So then what we had to do was walk down the street and just keep our phones open until Wi-Fi. <laughs> we picked up a Wi-Fi from a bank and they did a currency conversion to work out how much we needed to take out. And then, stupid us, we should have probably taken some money out in advance, but the ATM decided to charge us five pound for a transaction fee. Absolutely, like, right. yeah, soul crushing. But these are all life lessons. That's what traveling's about. You've got to learn a lesson or two in life. <clears throat> so, an eventful day. It's been a good laugh. Certainly enjoyed the trip, the mountains, the, the views. It was really nice. And now we're going to go and find this Airbnb and go and relax for the evening. Now we've got a full stomach. I chew up chichi again because I love that stuff. I wish, we could, I wish I could get that in the UK. So, really want to thank you for watching. We hope you have a great day. And please do join us for our day where we spend our time here in Mostar. We've got a day here, so we're going to go and look around. Hopefully, 
our card issue isn't too much of a problem but we shall see so wish us luck and we'll see you in the next one take care people